Let's take a quick look at using InDesign layouts to create stylish and practical PDFs. Our sample newsletter displays a number of interactive features, and because they are all built into our InDesign layout, they are easy to maintain and even more important, reuse in subsequent issues. For instance, a button invites our readers to view the document in full screen mode, then converts to a handy escape route. We've also customized our layout to better fill our entire screen and choose a type size and font that can be easily read without zooming in. We've also added a subtle background to avoid eye strain. Even if you don't have the luxury of resizing your document, you can still take advantage of the navigational features. Our rollover effect table of contents buttons are linked to their related articles. From InDesign, we can even control the transition between our pages. We've got a couple of buttons to help us skim through our PDF, then quickly return to our table of contents. All email and website references are hyperlinked, and here we can see a perfect example of our reusable space concept. As I roll over each thumbnail, I can easily see the enlarged image temporarily pop into view. Think of the possibilities in technical papers that contain a number of screenshots. Or how about bringing an organizational chart to life by popping out a photo and a biography when you lay over each entry? Because the button features are so cool and functional, you'll want to use them in every PDF that you create. To get you started, here are a couple of tips for introducing them into your documents. So let's say I have my print document nearly created. I'm going to click on one object that I'm going to use for my navigation button. If we take a look at the object styles panel, you can see that I've created an object style that represents the regular state and the rollover state. Let's open up a couple more panels. If we go to the Windows menu and Interactive, the first one we're looking for is Buttons. Let's go back once more and open up the Hyperlinks panel. We're now ready to create a button and give it some navigation properties. With that object selected, I'm going to go to the Buttons panel. At the very bottom right, there's a Create New Button option. Let's go up to the top and name our new button appropriately. If we want to give it a different appearance in Rollover, let's just click on that Rollover proxy in the Buttons panel and let's assign a different object style. Now when we toggle back to normal, we can see that there's a change in appearance. How do we get to navigate to the page that we want? Commander Control J will take us to our object page or our destination page. Let's select some appropriate text. Go to the hyperlinks menu, fly up menu of the hyperlinks panel. Click on new destination. The type is text anchor and the name is the text that we've selected. Commander Control J will allow us to navigate back to our original button page. Let's add an action to that button. Use the Selection tool, select the button, go to the Actions section, click on the plus sign, and go to Anchor. And now we can see that that anchor that we created is available to us. So far, that's the only one we have in the document. If you're anything like me, you can't wait to try this out. So let's use the Export function, Command or Control E, Pick a destination for our PDF and export after we make sure that interactive elements, bookmarks, and hyperlinks are checked on. Here's our PDF document open in Acrobat. We can check that rollover immediately. One click and we're taken to our destination page. Everything's in order. We're now ready to do our second hyperlink. We're back to our document again. We want to create that next navigation button. 
Let's first select our text on our target. Click New Hyperlink Destination again. Notice it's a text anchor and we see our appropriate text. We've created our second text anchor on the page that we want to navigate to. Let's go back and work on that button. Instead of recreating one, what if we duplicate the one that we've already created? The cool thing about using this method now is that all of the functionality and the rollover, everything that we specified before, has been duplicated as well. We need to, however, change our text, both in regular mode and in rollover mode. You're going to forget to do this at least once, like I did. The only thing we have left to do, check out our toggle between normal and rollover, our functionality is in place. The only thing left to do is click that new target or destination. We're ready to export again and test it out. Command or Control E. Let's overwrite the test document we've had before. All of the specifications are the same. And here's our finished PDF. Because we duplicated the button, navigation is practically ensured. One click and we can test out our destination as well. Creating one fully functional button and then duplicating all of the functionality for additional buttons is the fastest way to incorporate PDF ingenuity into your existing documents.